Hello guys, so today uh, just a quick video about a piece of software I've prepared and wanted to share with you if you like it. So basically I needed something to test the AMD cards. This is uh, RX 6800 XT and I wanted something that works from USB stick. Uh, so basically all I found was a big like 60 gig um, hard drive uh, image software and I wanted something very light that I can use without Linux or without any special programs uh, to create partitions and stuff like that so this entire thing works in Windows when you prepare it it works uh, in Linux when it's ready but when you prepare it you don't need Linux at all so let me start the test rig it's kind of loud because this old card has a very small fan on it um, and yeah I'll, I'll tell you uh, more about it so it will just uh, boot in a second okay there we go so uh, it is booting the core pure 64 basically uh, which was created for, uh, by some other guys Mm, I just scripted it and modified it so it can run 64-bit uh, and 32-bit libraries uh, Linux stuff, Linux software, so this is now probing itself as you can see and it goes to the A menu what it does uh, depends entirely on you because it's uh, the idea is for it to be preparable in Windows without any software or any special software but also for you to Mm, not having to learn any Linux at all so basically you add the so piece of software I prepared to the USB stick then you add yourself a testing software for the card you want in my case it's RX 6800 and you just boot it and as you can clearly see it detected this piece of software if I add uh, two pieces of software like uh, for RX 6900 as well it will show me also RX 6900 and the option 2 will be training 2A FB check and 2B loop test right but because I only added what I needed because this is very small USB stick uh, it just detected the one so let me run the training test because this is what I care about. This card is not displaying and I want to know why. So I'm running the test and you can see my domain fixomatic.org. Uh, the software is still in the works but I'll be sharing it of course for free for anyone that wants that. Uh, it's uh, also tested by some other guy from Discord that was working on his 6900 and I can tell you that uh, for now on Intel and AMD platforms this works pretty reliably and the file itself will be like I don't know 3 megabytes so no big downloads no special software needed to use it okay so we found a bad chip it's the chip E it shows two because it each uh, chip is two channels so E0E1 means chip E so what I need to do now is to take the chip out and repair the card, right? Either by just reballing if it has BGA issue or swapping the memory for some other memory uh, that I have on hand. So yeah, I won't be showing uh, this on the video because you've probably seen um, the reballing of memory process millions of times. But as you can see, it's also a permanent menu. Not only it detects the software you can run it also does the RAM test I included that because some other guy needed that on Discord so I included this so you can test your RAM if your RAM is okay on your test bench uh, and when it's done with whatever it goes back to itself so uh, it ran the test and now you you are back in the menu please choose an option all I need to do is uh, shut down the rig because I have the information I need the uh, memory chip E to change so thanks for watching I'll shut it down now and uh, yeah if you like the software there will be a link 
uh, to it and this version which is early version but works will be available to you thanks for watching